Hi, and welcome to A Walk in My Shoes. I'm Dan Vasquez, and I'm here with Lena Connell. And today, uh, we are talking about the pearl of the Mediterranean Sea. So stay tuned so you can learn about this amazing city. Hey, welcome to Away We Go. This is not a walk on my shoes. This is Away We Go. And today we are talking about the Pearl of Mediterranean Sea. And we're going right back to the beautiful northeast country of Africa, the nation of Egypt. And we're taking on the second largest city on Egypt, the city of Alexandria. So let's, uh, well, first of all, let me welcome Lena. Uh, and Lena today is going to show us four different tips that you can take from today's show on how to save money so that you can make your dream vacation true. So I know we can't travel right now, but you can start saving right now so that when, when you're able to travel, you can uh, have enough money to do a vacation of a lifetime. So uh, let's go to Google soon and let's get started. As we are going right here, this is our Earth and we're looking to the continent of North America. We are streaming right here from the studios on Columbus, Ohio, and we're gonna go from here all the way to the nation of Egypt. And I'm showing you right around the world where it is, and we're looking at the massive continent of Africa, and uh, Alexandria, uh, it's a very important city, isn't it, Lena? Yes, it is. It was founded by Alexander the Great, and it's on top. Now, last week, we took, we took on Cairo, which Cairo is down here, and that's where the pyramids are. But today, we're going up to the north, right here to Alexandria, which has a great history. It's known as Alexandria the Great. And, and let me show you some of the pictures of what Alexandria looks like and we're looking right here at the beautiful Mediterranean Sea and uh, at what this city has to offer there is all kinds of things uh, for you to come and experience in this amazing city let's start with the first budget tip for today yes or savings tip now i already said the first one make a budget right <laughs> let's make a budget for it yes the first step in saving for a vacation is planning for it before you even think about your savings plan out where you want to go where you want to stay and what you want to do while you while you're researching keep a running tally of how much airfare airfare accommodations food and activities will cost after you've planned, take the total estimated cost and write it on your calendar for your intended date of departure. Count how many weeks until you'd like to leave and divide your cost by the time you need to save. You now know how much you need to set aside each week in order to be able to afford your dream trip. So that's, that's a, the first step. That's an amazing tip. tip. Yeah. So it's making that goal, making the decision, start saving the money. Yeah. Put it on their calendar, find out how much the the uh, air for cost, and and start doing it. Now uh, we're looking right here uh, on on Google Earth a picture of Alexandria, the pearl of, of Africa. It it looks like um, the pearl of the Mediterranean. I'm sorry, that's yeah. the name of the, the correct <laughs> name. It looks like Manhattan, New York, doesn't it? Yes, it it's, does. It's amazing. When you look at in, of course, the buildings are not as tall, but you still have some sky, sky racers. And as we were talking about this, this city, this was at one point the capital of the nation of Egypt until the year 650 when, uh, uh, when I believe the Arabs took dominion mm -hmm. over the region and the Arabs moved the capital to Cairo which is still the capital today, but at one point, this was the capital. But this city has so much history because yeah. this city was um, founded by Alexander the Great during the Hellenistic area. Alexandria soon became the Greco-Roman capital of Egypt. 
uh, Alexander, Bel Alexander the Great believed that the location would provide to be a stronghold for Greece, and the leader commissioned Dinocrates to design the layout of this Hellenistic city. So this was a city with, uh, with design. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexander the Great uh, saw the importance of it because the Nile River runs from the, the Mediterranean Ocean all the way down to, to, um, to the uh, Red Sea, and it's a huge method of transportation. So this city is, is, is so key and uh, such an important city. There's um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of tourism that happens here. So we go right here to Golarth, we'll see where the airport is. So when you go, this is the Alexander International Airport. And this is where, where it's located. It is located in the in close to the downtown actually. And you can see right here where where it's located. So we're looking at a 3D view of the whole city, and then we're gonna be looking at uh, some of the most important places of, of this city. What are some of the things that are famous here, Lena? They they have museums, a lot of museums. Yeah. And for example, they have a national museum. This museum showcases the diverse history of Alexandria from the era of the pharaohs uh -huh. right through the through to the 19th century, and they also have like a royal jewelry museum and an aquarium. An aquarium too. Yes, that's amazing. Let me see if I can find the national museum, and it's right here. There is a picture of the. National Museum, if you're looking at it. Uh, there is so much history here because, again, when you get to this part of the world, when you're, you're not looking at history two, 300 years old, you're looking at history 6,000, 8,000 years yes. old. So let's look at some of, of the pictures that this museum has to offer. That's the outside. That's a little f f uh, French tone to it, but this is some of the things that you can find inside. That's, I, I assume that's Alexander the Great, a picture of him. A, a man that conquered the world in his lifetime, a conqueror. These are the burials of the uh, mummies, the Egyptian pharaohs. There's so much history, huh? Yes. And I guess this is an imitation of Cleopatra. Yeah. Some, say, some believe that Alexander the Great built this city for Cleopatra which was his uh, incredible, beautiful wife. And um, they were, um, uh, you know, very important city. So he, he tried to make this a uh, very, very important, um, you know, um, city. So mm -hmm. here's some of the things inside the museum that you can see in person if you go there. So lots of museum. Now this is a little newer. <laughs> that's, that's a gun. I'm sure they didn't have guns then. So Egypt, how? Uh, how amazing, how rich of history. And of course, you want to see the history, you want to go to the museum. Yes. <laughs> These are some of the current views of the city, apartments, and where people live. So we looked at the museums, and there is uh, a, 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 a library. Tell us about the library. Let me see if I can find it right here, while you tell us about it. Yes, it's one of the most famous buildings in history. The original Royal Library of Alexandria is also sta the stuff of Le of legend, the shining light of the past until it was destroyed by fire. Yeah, and, a, and it was so under sad. mysterious circumstances, so they don't know what happened. I know. Hopefully it was yes. not um, arson. And it was once the biggest library in the world, and with the fire, the city lost its symbol of knowledge. However, in 2002, the new Biblioteca uh -huh. of Alexandrina was completed and opened its doors for the first time. The ultra modern library memorializes its pre pre this, the old library, uh -huh. <laughs> and it's now a beautiful contem it temporary is. space where history, culture, philosophy, art, and science come together under one roof. So we're looking right now at the uh, at the modern library, and look at this building inside. Isn't it amazing? Yes. I would like to do homework there. That, yeah. Just that building just gives a desire to do homework. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never had that desire to do homework. Really? But <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> but we're looking at the outside. It's right on the Mediterranean. And uh, look at all these images of, uh, of this library. Very modern now. 
and it's as you said as you share it's a um, in honor of the previous library and it's a shame that it, it got burned down yes. uh, that it burned down because I'm sure the the treasures that were in there were um, you know lost forever but he, here is the entrance that's really cool um, looking at this library and um, the great Alexander the Great so this is the outside I love the the design and all the modern aspects that they brought into it see I love that feature yes. wall <laughs> and um, this is also a very uh, uh, Alexander's city of universities and schools and, mm -hmm. and things like that so education is it's highly um, regarded and there's a picture I guess of the presidents and the leaders in that nation yeah sad to hear about the library uh, being burned mm -hmm. but um, I think Lena it's time for number two mm -hmm. tip as we're looking back at, 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 um, at the city give us a number two tip for uh, saving for your um, favorite destination vacation, vacation. <laughs> you have to stay motivated okay so maybe you really want to see this library and that's the thing you want to do so keep your goal in mind keep your goal print, in mind. print out a picture of your dream destination okay. maybe it's the library yes maybe it's something else tape it to your wall make it a background image on your phone or computer hell even photoshop yourself in it yes if it makes the goal feel more tangible if you order food from your bed, seeing a picture of the place where you want to travel could make you question whether or not that you must have purchased is really worth chipping away the money from your budget. Right. So, so, it, uh, so sometimes there are things that uh, can um, that can that can start chipping away your budget and you don't even yeah. realize it. Yes. So that extra coffee you pick up in the morning. Yes, we'll talk about that also later oh, in the right. next <laughs> tip. Don't <laughs> say too much. Tip. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but the, the tip number two in one word, stay motivated. Yes. Stay motivated. Like I'm getting super motivated about going to Egypt one day as I'm looking <laughs> at these shots. Look at that. So you have to print out the picture and put it in your office so you see it every day. Yes. <laughs> so a picture in your office, a picture in the fridge, picture in the bathroom, whatever you spend more time in. Uh, just put the picture there and, and look at it constantly. Didn't they say make it make it your back screen on your computer? On yes, your phone? on your phone. Yeah. So yes. we're looking right here as a Pompey Pillar. Pompey Pillar is a freestanding Roman style column built in the center of the temple of Serapium, uh, flanked either side by two well-preserved Sphinx, Sphinx statues Pompey's Pillar is the largest column ever built outside of Rome, and it's the only example of its kind ever built. This magnificent icon of Alexandria is just one of the city's significant historical treasures. So we're looking at the site of where this Pompey Pillar is, and we can see that there are caves, but here is uh, the Pompey Pillar right here. So if you go to Alexandria, this is one of the things that you will want to see in person. Uh, pretty cool. It was it was Roman built, one of the mm -hmm. tallest ones uh, ever built. And I wonder if they didn't have scaffolding or machinery, how in the world did they <laughs> build that up there, right? <laughs> on top of each other, can yeah. you imagine on their shoulders? Like, Pass me a rock, <laughs> another one. <laughs> so cool. So we're looking right here at the sanctuary, the architecture um, of this um, ancient, ancient city. And it's running the downtown of this modern city. Alexandra did not stay behind on the on on, on, on the development of the city, but it's also a very modern city yeah. nowadays. And I've happened to know some people from uh, Alexandria. And Ramona, if you're watching the show, <laughs> greetings to you from your former English teacher. Um, so we're showing you this. And now we're going to go to Alexandria Lighthouse, the lighthouse. Yes, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria, became a beacon of light, not only in a physical sense, but also for its ingenuity of the ancient world. Alexandria's large Mediterranean port was a significant trading post, as we, as we already said in the beginning, 
the harbor in the Mediterranean Sea is very important for the city and also for whole Egypt. Yes. And the need for a lighthouse was paramount. At yeah. the time of its construction, it was one of the <coughs> largest buildings in the world. Can wow. you believe that? I know. One of it. the largest buildings in the world. And wow. now we have those skyscrapers. I know. It's awesome. Yes. And it's considered by some scholars as the first lighthouse in history. Wow. Wow. Yes, and it stood for 1,600 years until an earthquake destroyed the main tower, but its foundations remain. Wow, yes. so is this like an imitation of the old tower right here? I think so. Look at that, that's beautiful. Yes. That's awesome. And now we're looking at a modern picture of what it looks. There is the pier. Uh, the um, awesome, here's the Mediterranean. Beautiful. Yes. Have yes. you ever gotten in the Mediterranean? Lena. I did. I have too. It's oh. awesome. <laughs> I love the Mediterranean. Anyway, we're going back. There we go. There is the <laughs> the lighthouse. Fishing, not good food in the Mediterranean, and there are cruises. There yes. are cruise ships. Actually, you went there with your family on a cruise ship. When I was little, we uh -huh. did a cruise in the Mediterranean Sea, and we went to the Alexandria, uh -huh. to Alexandria with the ship, and it's pretty common. Uh, look at this yacht. Yes. Sweet. I feel like being on one of them, especially today here in Columbus with the weather that we have. But here's <laughs> another shot of the of the pier. And from here, we're going to go not too far. We're going to check now uh, the fortress, the Fort Quaid Bay, Quaid Bay Fortress. And the Citadel, the Citadel Quaid Bay, which it's right here. And this is a fantastic uh fantastic area let me see if we can do a, a 3d from here and really uh, important place in alexander this is also a must if you go to this city this is a must of what you want to see and visit while you're there um, this interesting historical site uh, was built in 1480 by sultan quad bay some of the remains of the lighthouse were reconstructed in the construction of the fort adding to its interest. And a visit to the imposing fortress affords wonderful views across the harbor and the passive waters of the Mediterranean. So let me show you some pictures of this place. It's just so beautiful. Um, look at that. Yes. So cool. And it has that old white stone from uh, Egypt. I think that's maybe my picture that I need to print out uh, and for myself. Them? Yeah. Yes. The, to keep you motivated. Yes. Okay, so remind me, what is the first tip in one word? Make a budget. Make a budget. And the second one is stay motivated. Stay motivated. All right, so as we're looking at this picture of, of uh, Fort Quaid Bay, uh, let's go to our third tip of the show today. You already kind of said it, cut okay. out convenience. Cut out convenience. Yes. Okay. It is an unfortunate but undeniable fact that little purchases add up. A coffee, mm -hmm. pick me up in the middle of the afternoon, a packet of chips to hold you over until dinner. Yeah. Go through your bank account and look for the places where you are routinely spending just a couple of dollars. It's likely that you're spending money just for convenience. And it cannot it and it can add up. Uh -huh. Cut out these purchases by stocking up on your impulse buys. Carry a reusable cup to make your own coffee, or keep snacks in your desk. Yeah, so that's the third that's tip. That's a great tip. So cut yes. out convenience. Yes. Don't spend too much um, on coffees. They got up. Yeah, it you is. Know, chips and snacks. And I have snacks in my desk actually, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't go out I and do get too. something. I do too. I do have some chocolate bars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at this picture. I love this picture of Alexandria. Uh, this is from the Fort Quibi, mm -hmm. looking over at the city, and it just looks so vibrant and so vivid, yes. uh, just amazing. So this is definitely different than Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so very cool. And uh, have you ever had to save money for a trip, Lena? Yes, yeah. I did. Especially here when I moved to the U.S. Uh -huh. to travel somewhere. Uh -huh. Yeah. You had to put things aside, yes. make a budget, 
and work on that yeah. to get it going. Yeah, that's how it is, and that's one of the reasons that this show exists is to to tell you um, you can make it too. You can travel too, um, and but it does require some sacrifices. But if your desire is there, you can make uh, the sacrifices necessary so that you can explore this amazing world. We've said it in other shows. I repeat it almost every show. I'll say it again. Um, someone said it. If the world is like a book, and if you only been to one country, you only read one page. So you want to read more from that book. You want to see more of the world, and that's 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 a good thing that that can help you. So we have uh, another um, important place that we want to show you on Google Earth, and is the Montasa Palace and the Royal Gardens. Montasa Palace. And it's actually a museum that showcases the history of that era uh -huh. and to get a better pers perspective of the diverse heritage, culture, and, and ancestry of Alexandria. Uh -huh. Then the palace is an extra excellent resource to visit. It's amazing. Let's look at some pictures of this yes. palace. And uh, look at that. I love the architecture, Yeah. the colors, and the gardens. The royal gardens are there, yeah, and there you can now see a beautiful public park yeah. and nature preserve. Nature preserves. Yes. So you're looking right here at the Montasa Palace, very historic place with diverse heritage, and uh, wow. Sign me up. I want to <laughs> go there. And there is the Egyptian sign right here on the. On this wall, yeah. that's the Egyptian symbol. It's the eagle. And again, another view of the Mediterranean. And this looks like homes or apartments or something here that you can probably rent and stay there. But here is like the area of this is where this is located. It's beautiful. And I love how the water is. You see the color of the water? Yeah. Um, a friend of mine always does this before he goes on a trip. He always goes on Google Earth and looks at the water. And if it's not turquoise or it's not uh -huh. nice, he, he doesn't go there. So really? he wants to see the actual picture. <laughs> Look at this beautiful sunset here yeah. at the Montasa Palace in the Royal Gardens. It's a nice view right here. There's the palace again. And uh, yeah, really, really amazing. No picture. And there are resorts there as well. So there are I'm sure there are all-inclusive resorts that you can take on and visit. So I want to do something fun like I normally do. I want to go right here into the city, just uh, a random a random place uh, on the city. So I'm going to check on our Google Earth for a spot that we may have a picture. Okay, we have a view right here. And I'm just going to go to this random place right here. So let's go all the way in into the streets of <laughs> and see what we find. You never know what you're going to find. No. This is a surprise. <laughs> so there is a man feeding a bird. <laughs> How amazing. <laughs> so this is the, the straight view of one of the streets in Alexander. Oh, look at that. Cars have covers on them. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Looks like a nice evening in the town. Here, uh, we're looking at the buildings right here. And the cars are covered. Oh, look at that, it's cool. Men are out there in the parking lot. <laughs> in the parking lot, enjoying a good conversation, some cigarettes, and uh, yeah, really, really awesome, huh? Here's a little convenience store, maybe it looks like a restaurant. And here's the men feeding the bird. So this is uh, a random, the, the random section of the show right here, <laughs> where we go right into the streets of Alexander. The, the streets look cool. Um, yeah. Pebbles, sidewalks. The cars look, um, you know, slightly smaller than what we're used to, but not bad. So, so this is uh, this is it. Oh, here it looks like like a like a Roman um, building kind of thing. It looks like apartments. Yeah. I don't think I have aerial view right here. Maybe this one. Let me try to get another aerial view of this. Uh, not here, but let me see. Let's go right here, over closer to the coast, and take an aerial view of this area. 
<clears throat> so this is what we call a virtual tour. And look at this, this is awesome. I would love to walk around these streets. Isn't it amazing? It is. All those buildings and the water. Really cool. So this is a real thing right here. Look at all those apartments. I never thought that I had like so big buildings. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, Why you don't think I... about that when, when you don't think about that, right? No. Wow, so awesome. Well, Lena, I think it's time to talk about our third, our fourth tip of the day. Yeah, the final if, one. To make the final <laughs> one. To make your vacation trip a reality, here is tip number four. So take us out, Lena. Netflix and save. Netflix and save. Cancel your subscriptions. It may be hard to hear, but you're likely spending hundreds of dollars per year on different services that basically offer you the same thing. If you really can't go without Showtime, HBO, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Spotify, and all the other streaming platforms, consider gathering some friends and setting up a family account. You'll cut down on how much you're spending if everybody agrees to, co to contribute a few dollars to the same account every month. That's, that's, that's a true. good point. That is very true. <laughs> so sometimes we uh, have all these subscriptions to mm -hmm. many things. I tried to count the other day how many subscriptions of staff I had. I stopped counting at 21. I yeah. mean, I was like, I don't even know all of them. <laughs> and yeah. I'm not even sure. I didn't start counting how much money is going out. Yeah. But they, they give us a great tip. Thank you for sharing this tip with You're us. You're welcome. Um, maybe you have some friends and you all share a Netflix subscription. You can just get a family yeah. and everybody chips in some money and every dollar counts. Every dollar counts That's when you're true. making up a budget. Yeah. So let's go over <laughs> our four goals again. Okay. First goal, number one. Make a budget. Okay. Stay motivated. Stay motivated. Cut out convenience. Cut out all unnecessary convenience. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And Netflix and save. Netflix Cancel your subscriptions save. or go ask friends to get a family account. Yeah. And then a lot of these places are offering 30 day free, yes. so sign up for that, and then when it's over, just sign up on another one. Yes. <laughs> you know? And if you're not watching those, you will be surprised how much time you can save in a day but by not uh, watching all, uh, Netflix and That's all of those social so <laughs> maybe, You can read the book. Maybe you can That's even, it. I don't know, maybe <laughs> find something like an extra job. I don't know, you know, <laughs> and maybe an extra job delivering newspapers in the mornings or washing cards or something extra that you can do. Start selling things on Etsy. If you like crafts, <laughs> you can make stuff and start selling stuff um, so that you can, um, uh, oh, oh, another thing people do, uh, they flip furniture. Maybe yes. you can find a, a piece of chair, sand it, stain it, resell it, and make money from that. Yeah. And you're going to start saving your glues for, for the next for the next trip. Okay, I want to show one more thing right here in Alexandria. So let's go to Google, back to Google Earth. And this is a Roman amphitheater. And uh, I wanted to, to, to right here. Tell us a little bit about this, Lena. It is near the center of Alexandria, as we could see when you zoomed in <laughs> yes. to it. And the structure lies largely in ruins. However, those ruins are well preserved and remain a wonderfully atmospheric example of the classical Roman the architecture. Classical Roman architecture, yeah. So the, the Roman culture, one thing about the Roman culture is that they were fascinating with entertainment. Mm -hmm. That's what drove the whole culture. And they developed and built these uh, amphitheaters for entertainment. They will yeah. bring opera singing and dancing and other different things. <laughs> But, uh, but these amphitheaters are well known throughout all of the, mid, uh, the Middle East. Yeah. Uh, and look at the mosaics. I love these kind of mosaics because you, you know that they have to put one piece at a time. Yes. One by slow. one. They, you, they didn't have Home Depot all the time. <laughs> they didn't go to Lowe's to buy those yes. and put them together in five <laughs> minutes. No, they, they did piece by piece. And it just, it's a statement, a uh, legacy of their uh, designs and architectures. There's another view of the coast of the beautiful city of Alexandria, uh, Roman uh, pillars. Mm -hmm. 
here at this amphitheater. This one is small, uh, but still, you know, I'm That's sure. It's still impressive. It's still impressive. And it's well kept yes. for hundreds of years. So, oh wait, is this a bathtub? It looks like a bathtub. <laughs> it looks like one. Awesome, made out of rock. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I need one of those in my life. Um, here's another <laughs> ruins. And anyway, that is, that is awesome. So yeah, this is the city of Alexandria. Just a fantastic city, lots of history, lots of things to see, and uh, can't wait to be there one day. So I haven't been there, but it's on my list. <laughs> so um, great, and, uh, and the tips that you shared today, I think they were very helpful, and they're uh, good for, for anyone that they can make their dream destination. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to, to tell our audience today, Lena? Well, start saving for your next trip. <laughs> yeah, start saving. Make it possible. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for joining us today on Away We Go as we took the city of Alexandria. We have a new country coming up next week, so stay tuned as we will go to another amazing city. We'll say goodbye to Egypt for now. Uh, we took on Cairo and Alexandria. But now it's time to move on to another exciting city. Stay tuned to everything we're doing here at CLC. If you're not following us on social media, make sure you like that button on Facebook. Make sure you follow us on uh, CLC Connect in YouTube and CLC Works at, at Instagram. We're now in TikTok as well. So follow us on TikTok <laughs> and other places as we are covering all social media platforms. But thank you once again for joining us on another episode of Where We Go. And we'll talk to you in our next episode. Have a wonderful Wednesday.